Using Resource Monitor, you can reduce your stutter on Just Cause 3, as I have. Use Resource Monitor. Find out the programs that are running in the background and close each process. You can search each process by searching the internet. Click the pro Here's how you get the process. If you want to reduce your stutter, open up Windows Task Manager, click the Performance tab, and then click Resource Monitor. This will bring up the tab Resource Monitor. Look under Tab Memory. Now if you look under Tab Memory you'll see all the processes that are running in the background. Now every process can be searched through Google or your internet browser. Right click, search process. This will bring you a window up and it will tell you each process through Google search what process is what company who owns the process and what this process is for it'll tell you also they'll tell you when they're malware and or non malware they'll give you alerts um, like here if I click this one this is razor that's the one I'm running it gives me up it gives me game boost. The way it does this is I use game boost and I can close any process by hitting the boost. I'll go over here under the boost tab. You can download this yourself. What all this is for is to eliminate stutters in Just Cause 3 totally completely. The way this is done is if you reduce, you reduce the amount of memory usage of your RAM first off and then second off checking the page page file what I recommend you doing is look at your performance you gotta re increase your performance of your RAM first if you're having any stutter issues first thing to do is reduce reduce the usage of your RAM so that you RAM, free up some RAM so you can use use some of those RAM to speed up the, the performance so it increases your performance while you're gaming the reason you're not the reason you're getting stutters is because you don't you're running out of RAM because other processes are running in the background preventing the game to, from using that process that available RAM that's not freed up if it's not freed up the game is going to go to page file so in order to free it up you need to go to task manager go click the performance tab here click performance resource monitor like I just showed you a while ago and go under the memory tab right click search every process until and find all the processes you don't require I saved myself doing this method I got my memory down to one gig of usage so when I launched my game all that available seven gig of memory was available for me to use it eliminated the stutters totally let me show you how let me show you the game now the game yesterday was not was stuttering completely okay first let me do this these are my settings let me lower my settings okay I have to lower it to that level because at the moment this is what I have set after after re removing all the programs in my resource monitor finding all the programs that are not needed then I launched the, launched the game with these settings after I freed up the RAM and resource manager then I launched the game these settings are there these are how my settings were okay the stutter is gone now watch me play it's got to reload every time it does that it's just okay now it's refreshed now watch the stutter are gone you're not going to see no stuttering let me get in my car see how The reason it's doing that is because you have to eliminate. But anyway, I'm trying to show you something here that the stutter is gone.
I had stutters before, but now I don't. I had a lot of stutters. A lot of stutters. Compared to what it's what it used to run, this is so much smoother. If you listen to me, you will reduce your stutters. I know all you people that want to play this game so bad have had a lot of stutter issues. Well, this will eliminate your stutter problems. I guarantee it. You have to go the way this is done. Okay, the game is using resources too, so you have to watch. So if you get too much, if you use up too much RAM, the game will start to slow, and you will start to stutter. So if your RAM is being is being used too much, it can also increase your stuttering. So what you need to do is find a find a find a break find a point to where you're not stuttering so you need to keep so when you when you go into options and you enable some of these features like vertical sync or something that increases your your that increases the amount of RAM you're using so what you need to do you need to reduce your RAM usage the way you do that you just lower your settings on your game and then once the, and that will increase your performance to decrease your performance, you just when you're decreasing performance, that increases the stutters. That's where your stutters are coming from because performance gain is losing. You're losing performance gain as you raise. So in order to get more performance, you either have to upgrade to something or you have to buy more RAM. This did boost. Let me show you what it looks like when you increase. Okay, look at resource man. Look at the resources right now. What is it running? Let's see. Let's see. So if I click here, right click, I look at our resource. I'm at seven. If you right here, right here it says I'm using seven thousand three hundred four. That equals seven gigs. Okay. So the game is. Let me let me show you the resource. Here's Just Cause Three. It's using five gigs of RAM. Okay. All the other stuff is using RAM too, so that's another two gigs used by other resources. So if you want to improve your performance on your games, just find all the services that you don't require and by right-clicking these services, and reducing them. That'll allow you more. That'll allow you more space for the game to use for more RAM. So that means you can add, you can uh, enable more features on your game, allowing you to. Uh, Increase like your resolution or something, so that leaves more room for that. So just go in here, eliminate more, more, more pro, uh, more services. But make sure that they're not Windows services, because you could shut something off the, that could uh, shut down your computer or, or hurt something in Windows, that, a Windows process that you really need to keep to keep Windows running. So the way you do this, you just, well, here's Google Drive. I don't need it now. I could shut it off now because I'm not using it. There's one. mostly these are some of these are just programs that people install. Like I install Steam, or if you install some of them are drivers, so you got to be careful. Here's Razor Cortez. That's this back here. This is Game Boost. That's what this is called, Game Boost. So that resource is called Razor. I definitely don't want to close that because that's well. I can't close it now that I've already. Well, if I close it, it's gonna enable all those uh, programs back because after you shut this off this way I did it they shut down those programs is I'll use this you don't need necessarily need this program but I use it because it makes things quicker to shut down processes faster so you can click you go to the boost tab here and then you go you find you look after you located all the processes that you want to shut off just select them all here and then you click the boost button over there okay right now it says restore button because I already already did the boost so after you boost it you're gonna see a lot of changes so I saved myself about five gigs around after doing this and then my game performance was super high okay Let me demonstrate what would happen 
let me demonstrate what would happen if if I were to turn the reduce off this would bring back all the processes back and my stutter would return right now it's smooth right it's smooth now right but that's only until I release all those other programs in the boost I can demonstrate that right now and prove to you that that stuttering is coming from excessive RAM usage from unnecessary programs in the background not allowing the game to run right, uh, right. so let me prove to you all you negative people saying oh this don't work this does work watch okay now these are unboosting it's unboosting everything I just turned off before to save the memory now the game is going to crash probably because the game is not going to run now at all it's probably going to crash the game it's going to crash the game because the game ain't got enough memory now all right. either that or, or it's just going to stutter okay I could be wrong see it's stuttering it stutters it's not the same a lot more study. The performance is going down. See, that stuttering just came back. And it's going to get worse with time. See? stutters get worse and worse the more I hit them. See the stutter? See the stutter? Okay, now let me go back to the program and boost. You're going to see a difference. See, while ago it was, it was smooth like butter, but it's not going to be smooth anymore. It's going to be smooth again. I just have to go back to Razor. Since already these programs are boosted already, it remembers it. You should remember the program. Okay, so you just hit this boost button. Now it's going to shut down all those programs that were causing me to uh, stutter. Ta da! Magic! Now go back in the game. Now we're gaming. Okay, I give it a while to reload because it has to reload all its textures. After the memory's freed up, it has to adjust. Okay? More units. Find the rebel. But it's good Pursue now. It should not stutter anymore. Okay? That's how we reduce stutters. Memory. Memory is what's going to help you. And the drivers I recommend for this is if you're AMD, AMD 15.7.1. And I recommend getting the uh, certified version. That means Windows certified. If you go and uh, type in, type in uh, Google 15.7.1, you're going to then type 15.7.1. Uh, Point one. I'll, I'll put it in the comments down below so you guys can find it easier. Thank you for watching the video and hopefully this helps y'all. Bye.